know, I'm kind of curious about this to see. Wow, the missile hit him and didn't do anything with the server's lagging. Oh! So with the recent addition of the French helicopters into War Thunder, it's easy to understand why they may seem a bit underwhelming. But if you did some research and looked at the top tier gazelle, you will see that this thing is armed with Mistrals. Now Mistrals are all aspect air to air missiles. Now what this means is instead of getting a lock on the rear end of a target like you have to with all the other air to air missiles in game currently, you can lock onto a plane that is flying directly at you or in most cases a chopper which I think that this plane will definitely be super useful for. Now these missiles aren't notably better than any other AAMs in game currently. They're not better G tolerance wise, they're not necessarily faster and noticeably they don't track any better but this key feature to where you can lock onto a plane that's coming at you or a helicopter in front of you means that these missiles are going to be super deadly for choppers that don't have defense systems flares ircms or anything like that and i think that i'm going to have to designate the gazelle as the anti-chopper helicopter the heli hunter of the choppers of the chopper kingdom i should say um now i'm not saying that these things are going to be overpowered by any regard but i think this thing will be best used to hunt down helicopters and other aircraft that are unsuspecting of you it's a tiny form factor helicopter moves around the battlefield pretty quickly and uh pretty maneuverably kind of like the bow uh, the bow is really, really good at flying at low altitude, keeping itself hidden, and the same thing with the gazelle. It is very maneuverable, very tossable, as I would say, and it is very, very deadly if you catch somebody off guard. Now, if you can see me using this in the uh, game currently, the actual radar circle you get or the lock-on circle you get is extremely big. It's huge. It takes up the entire screen. But there's a kind of a small issue with that is you have to put the circle, the actual guide circle, the lock on circle, which is the smaller circle on the aircraft, it seems before you can get a lock on. So of course the aircraft could fly anywhere in that big circle and still hold the lock. But to actually get the lock, you have to put that circle on the aircraft. And doing that is kind of difficult because of its placement It is higher up on the screen. It's actually in between where uh, the score limit is on top and your actual guidance crosshair thing. And aiming that on a plane uh, can actually just ruin your entire approach. So getting to use these things might take some time, but I think with a little bit of practice and a little bit of time, you can make this thing the ultimate chopper hunter, the ultimate uh, cast hunter, and planes that are just basically not paying attention, air vehicles that are not paying attention, trying to kill things on the ground, trying to kill your friends in the air. Uh, you could be a huge thorn in their side. Now, after my testing, I don't, again, think these missiles are overpowered by any means. Uh, I don't think they're super, super good, but this small little feature that you can just lock on wherever you see a plane or see an air vehicle is so nice. And I can see it just working out in your, your, your favor if you use this thing. Now, of course, the French lineup isn't too good to back this thing up, and the rest of the French tree as a whole isn't that good. Uh, this gazelle in particular, the only other loadout that I would say is worth anything is two hot twos and two of these Mistrals. So you can fire two ATGMs and you still have two of these missiles. Now, the small caveat with these things is the lock from the front is only 3.5 kilometers or maybe it's 3.3 kilometers um, but the lock from the rear so a rear aspect would be 5.5 i believe i hope i'm not mis mistaking it but you can see it on screen now i did hover over the missiles for a tad bit so you can read the information there and you don't have to go off my word <laughs> um that being said, I don't think this is going to be a groundbreaking helicopter. I do still think the French tree for helicopters is a bit mediocre, and I'm hoping for some better ones in the future. As a start off point, though, it's not too bad. It just kind of makes an underwhelming nation a little bit better and a little bit more unique. Um, but an AMX 40 with a gazelle and an AMX 30 DCA, 
uh, as a top tier lineup isn't the best. It's it's really more of a support role, if anything. And where this chopper sits, using it may not be the easiest thing to acquire. I, I mean, as, how, as far as choppers go, if you use these air-to-air -air missiles, you might be able to take this chopper out in the beginning of the match. Uh, hopefully you can, and if that's the case, this will be a very viable early game strategy with four of these missiles to go in, hide somewhere on the map, find the H1Gs, find those Hinds that are coming in early on in the match, and uh, absolutely <laughs> tear them a new one. Now, of course, if you're going against a helicopter like the Bow, the H1Z, uh, anything that has flares or some type of defense system, you're not going to be able to kill them as easily as you'd think. These missiles uh, get sent off course pretty easily. They don't have a huge G tolerance. They're not like AIM-9Ls or AIM-9Bs. Um, they're, they're quite mediocre, but just the small aspect that you can lock a target at any range, or not any range, at any degree in front of you is really, really nice and really nifty. But like I said, I, I really don't think it's going to change the game any. I just thought that this is something that nobody really talked about. And I actually didn't know about until Pred told me about it. Um, and he said they're all aspect. I should check it out. I checked it out. Figured it was all right. It's cool. It's going to be fun to mess around with. But overall, France as a nation, just kind of lacking. And I think the French helicopter tree as a whole is kind of lacking. So enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think about these missiles. Do you think they're going to be groundbreaking technology? Do you think they're going to be the best thing uh, in War Thunder since pickles and canned milk? Or <laughs> I don't know. Um, generally, I like the look of the Gazelle. I think it's a cool helicopter. I think it looks cool. I like how it flies. No complaints in that front. Um, but as far as defensive armament, those are the only things you get. Uh, if you take out a different loadout, you don't really have a ton to do. You don't have a, a great loadout in any regard for ground killing capacity. But four helicopters might be a nice thing to do. You get four helicopters, you get a lot of spawn points, and you can spawn in something else like the Super Mestir, which I should be making a video on shortly because I generally like that plane. I think it's actually pretty good. Not as fast as the stack card leads to believe. Getting to that top speed, kind of unobtainable, but as a dogfighter, the nice surface to air missiles on the wing, or surface, nice wing surfaces on the wings. Uh, the large wing surfaces make it a very viable turn fighter, very viable in the defensive fight. So I'm going to be making a video on that. And I also think that that plane gets the best looking skin in game. So enjoy the rest of this gameplay I got. I have another kill uh, or two maybe because it's hard on the dev server. You know, you can't really use this thing as intended necessarily in a normal ground force match. But I really do think that uh, it might be a unique little helicopter to take out, take for a spin, mess around with. And I think it is a unique feature. This could mean that we might get more uh, missiles like this that can lock at any aspect, any any ratio, uh, 19, 20 by 10, 87, 20p, 1440. You know what I'm saying? So uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the Gazelle in the comment section down below. How hyped are you French boys that you get, uh, you get this beast? You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Deuces. Oh, why aren't these tanks rendering in? I'm well within range. I don't understand why this plane feels like it accelerates way slower in RV than it does in the fucking set. Uh, the instructor shouldn't affect that. I don't know. I just shot the CL on accident. No, I'm kind of curious about this to see. Wow, the missile hit him and didn't do anything because the server's lagging. Oh! What? I just killed a T2. Oh, nice. He flew, um, he caught the lock. I was aiming at Rude and he flew in front of it and just caught it. Caught these hands.